I'll go ahead and just say something first. Um, one, obviously, you know, it's disappointing. Um, every feeling that you could possibly have at this point in this day and this, just, this circumstance, you know, they're running deep. Um, you know, I feel like at the time I was playing some, some of the best football I've played since I've been in the league. I've, I was more confident than I'd ever been, and most of you guys think of me as a confident guy, but I was probably more confident than I've been you know, since I've been in the league and this OTA is this training camp, you know, this preseason and this, you know, such a special team. I was, you know, hoping and looking forward to being able to lead this team. But, you know, no finger pointing, no negativity. It's going to be about me finding ways to still, you know, make this team great, whether that's, you know, in practice, working with Teddy, try to find ways for him to get better, whatever he needs me to do. Um, that's That's pretty much my goal, you know. Look in the mirror, see what I need to get better at. Figure out what it is to, uh, you know, keep progressing, keep getting better. You know, not taking any steps back, just keep taking steps forward without, you know, taking some of the reps. So, yeah, it was disappointing, but you know, I'm gonna do everything I can for this team, for Teddy, and uh, you know, keep the momentum going forward as far as my play goes. What kind of challenge was it today, Drew, after getting the news and then having to go through practice? Yeah, I think it was tough. I think the the toughest part was, you know, getting it and then going to the team meeting and knowing it was going to be talked about. And uh, that was probably the toughest part, but it's all right. Drew, is it, is it more difficult knowing Vic said it was so close, it was Razor thin, just had to make a decision because of the timing? Yeah, you know, that does. Because, you know, when I was in there and we were talking, you know, I obviously, you obviously ask, you know, what could I have done different? You know, what do I need to keep working on? And, you know, though it, it was, Extremely close. It was the timing deal, and you know, as nice as that is to hear, it was that close. It's still, you know, it's still tough because um, you know you you work at it, you want it so bad, and then it ends up not going in your favor. But you won't see me out here. You know, I was thinking about like, do I come out and you know smile around here, be my normal self? Because all right, then they're gonna think you know. Shoot, he doesn't care about not having a starting job. But no, that's – I'm going to be myself every day I'm out here. I'm going to get better. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to bring energy to this practice, bring energy to this team, um, and just, you know, keep being myself. Do you, do you think you might have had it until Teddy went off against Seattle? Um, you know, I, like I said before, I wasn't trying to dive into it too much um, because, you know, if – Maybe I don't trip and we throw a touchdown pass on that last play I was in there. And, you know, the stats look one way. Everyone else thinks something. I don't know. There's just a lot that goes into it. Um, I wasn't thinking too much into it. Um, and I was just going to be ready for whichever scenario they went with. I was just going to be ready for you've what they decided. You've a, a lot of work this year. Where do you think you've taken the biggest step in your game? Um, I think the biggest thing for me was going to be pre-snap stuff. Being able to react being able to deliver the football, being able to throw it, being able to run around, that's kind of always came natural to me. My biggest step that I felt that I needed, you know, to show this coaching staff and this team, more importantly, was, you know, I'm going to have a plan before that ball gets into my hand. And if I can do that on every single play, have my plan, I can rely on making the play, running around if that plan falls apart. But it needed to be more of a structure more of a thought process before every single play. Not that there wasn't thought processes before. It was just, I need to know exactly how I'm going to go about this, what they're going to do to me. And if they do something different, then I'll react. I think that was probably the, the biggest step I took. And I think that's where the comfortability came. Um, going out there, I didn't think that there was anything someone could throw at me, whether it was Vic in practice or Vikings or Seattle or whoever we were playing. I didn't think there was anything that I couldn't react to and have a plan to at the same time. A few more for Drew. You've never really had a mentor. Um, yeah. Can you, is there a way going forward that you see the relationship with Teddy evolving into that kind of thing where he's a guy that you can run things off of and kind of take some of his knowledge and apply it to your future? Yeah, the one, I mean, it's not the one thing. There's a lot of, there's a lot of great things about Teddy that I've, I've realized since I've been here. and. I think from day one, I realized that, you know, some of the people that I've learned from in this position compared to what Teddy does at this position, 
there's a lot of different ways to go about it. And I, I really like the way he goes about it as far as how he talks to the teammates, how he coaches on the field, stuff we do after practice, like the little things he likes to focus on. Um, I know that right as you bring in a quarterback and it becomes a quarterback competition, it's whose chest is puffed out bigger and who can throw it better, who can come out here and practice. But, you know, secretly I was sitting back and learning everything I could from Teddy. And I think one of the special things he does that I've taken and I'm going to keep adding into my game is the way he communicates, the way he talks, how he operates after practice, trying to get the receivers on the same page as him. It's just something that I'd really not necessarily been exposed to or seen. And it's, I mean, it's kind of crazy to think that it's been, it's been this long. And, you know, I thought I was doing it the right way and doing it, you know, the best way I possibly could. And then when you see a new aspect, a new outlook on it, it's like, wow, I can really take some of that and bring it into, you know, kind of what I'm doing and kind of, kind of merge the two. Sure. Going back to a conversation with the coaches, you talk about asking them what could you have done differently. Did you think of, I mean, what did you come up with and what did they tell you? Um, we kind of kept it as the, you know, it was just really close. Um, it just came down to, you know, being able to choose, maybe a little bit of experience. Um, just it was time to make the choice, and it was close. And both of you guys are starters in this league, and you know, I've, I've, you know, I feel comfortable with this quarterback room if for anything that happens. Um, that was kind of the, kind of the response I got today, and you know, I, I truly feel the same. I think I said it at the beginning, but. Um, I'm confident that, you know, if my time comes, um, you know, you don't wish anything negative on, upon anybody ever, especially this position, because I know how hard it is to get to that starting spot. But if my time does come, I'd, I'll be ready for it whenever, and there won't be any lack of work that, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep working every single day. I'm going to try to get better every single day. And it, like I said, if that time does come, then, you know, I'm going to be able to go out there and keep the play the same. If not, try to take it a little better. Sure, just to follow up on that, Pat, Pat, Pat did talk, and Pat Schumer talked about the other week, but the reality is off the times in this league, two quarterbacks play. In both of your years that you've been here, multiple quarterbacks have played. Is that, you know, kind of, I don't want to call it consolation, but sort of this idea that, you know, you, you do have to be treating it like you, you're definitely going to play? Yeah, you always got to be ready. And that's that's got to be your mindset. That's the mindset that I'm going to have, um, whether that's film study, knowing the game plan front and back, like I was trotting out there for the first play, especially in my experience, I mean, my shoulder and my hand, like those are just freak accidents that happen and someone had to come in for me. And like I said, I don't wish any negative upon anyone, um, but I will be preparing as if you're the starter. And that's kind of not necessarily the first time I've had to do that, but it will be a different experience and uh, up for the challenge and see where it takes me. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys.